I'm John Carlin, and this is your 10 News Update. Former Radford University student accused of brutally stabbing her roommate to death has waived her right to a preliminary hearing. Louisa Cutting was in court Thursday for the first time. She's accused of killing Alexa Cannon inside their apartment in January. Cutting's attorney says mental issues are a factor. As we reported, Cannon was a Patrick Henry High School graduate. Loved ones say that she was always positive and passionate about helping others. The son of a Carillion Clinic executive is dead after a head-on crash and fire on the Blue Ridge Parkway this week. According to the National Park Service, 44-year-old Ian Mills died near milepost 132. We're told one car caught fire after the crash while the Mills car went off the road. A Carillion Clinic spokesperson says Mills' parents, Curtis and Donna, were also hurt in the crash. Liberty University students are working to provide relief after Hurricane Dorian devastated the Bahamas. This comes after President Jerry Falwell announced he'll be donating $25,000 to the island nation. University officials say they'll also send the LU Send Now team to the area next month to help with recovery. A reminder, you can get updates on the go with WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm John Carlin, 10 News, working for you.